Okay, I told you I'd show you this wagon. Uh, here it is. I'll push it out in the sun. I wanted to look at it. Funny little wagon that showed up at the door. Alright, so my friend, Hurdy, he's sitting up there on his silly phone. He uh, showed up with this. I thought he was going to bring me a dune buggy to play with and put a stereo in. I was very, rather excited to put a stereo in a dune buggy. But no, he shows up with this. And uh, at first that made me cry. Because uh, in a former life, I was a high school shop teacher. And this is pretty much all I did every day was build go-karts with kids one after another after another and when I quit teaching high school I started doing productive things with my life rather than just go-karts so this showed up literally an unfinished go-kart from a high school shop program so the steering was a little wonky it had a gas seven and a half horse engine in it the gearing was horrible it really didn't function correct at all so his dream was to put an electric motor in it. We figured out his budget, which was around $1,000. So we, uh, we went at it. So with a budget of $1,000, you got to start with used parts. I'll show you what we started with. Take you to the backyard full of junk. Okay. So I picked up a whole lot of these one time. They were old rental scooters from for tourists around town I guess and uh, I think what went wrong with most of them is they all had alarm systems on them and that always goes wrong if you know anything about old 90's stereo stuff uh, as soon as the alarm goes bad the whole car doesn't function and uh, so I think that's what went wrong with most of these so there's the controllers and then they've got a hub hub motor inside the wheel and the hydraulic disc brakes and everything the rest of it's garbage but that hub motor and that controller that's the gold in these you could find these cheap so uh, so for 300 bucks or less you can usually pick up one of these with no no batteries no charger just uh, just a junk scooter but more likely than not the motor's good the controller is good uh, but when we're building this wagon to be straight I did have a collection of these and uh, we did find one faulty controller with some bad MOSFETs so we just set that one aside I might fix it one day and then we pulled another controller actually out of this one it's missing controllers gone there's the DC to DC converter still in there but so hoodie pulled the controller to that one and we went and put it on the wagon and uh, that one ran just fine I, I use ebikes.ca they have a troubleshooting troubleshooting site there it makes them pretty easy to test your stuff see if it's see what's wrong whether it's the motor or the controller so that's the motor we used and there you can see it in there I think there's uh so you zip cut the rim off there's the the motor and this brake still on there hydraulic hydraulic just brake just goes to <laughs> there's the old handle he uh, put the cable on hooked it to the brake pedal and sure enough pulls the lever and then as a result, you still left the electronics on it, uh, the switching, so it still operates the regenerative braking and all of that stuff. So that worked out pretty well. Good, good way to do that. Um, what else has we got in here that's, that's neat? Uh, switch panel there, that's most of his 12 volt stuff. He did DC, DC converter, I think it's right down in there, you can see. Where is it? Right there. So with that, he can run 12 volt stuff so he's got 12 volt lighting he's got a 12 volt horn it's not it's not switched on right now I'll switch it on after there's a horn butt horn there all car stuff uh, it's auto pedal off of well that's I think that's off my old fence maybe I don't know and then uh, that's just a golf cart to auto pedal basically the steering was awful the way the kids did it we sorted it out their Ackerman wasn't bad 
but how the, their attack on all their shafts and stuff was horrible. Now it's not, it's, it's not too bad. The inside steers sharper than the outside, just as it should. And uh, the real reason it doesn't steer, I didn't tell you it doesn't steer. The back end, there's no differential. It's just locked solid. It's an axle straight from one tire to the other. So those big back tires sure fight the front tires. You can tell the fronts are getting, they're already getting worn out and bald because they're fighting the steer all the time. For gear ratio, we needed a two to one ratio, give or take. I kept looking through the yard full of junk and I had just finished a Ford V6. Did head gasket, timing chain, all that kind of stuff, water pump. And I'd thrown that timing chain in the garbage which is hard for me to do because uh, I don't like throwing stuff out, but I threw it out. And then two days later, we dug it out of the garbage and put it on this. And that's the perfect gear ratio for this. It works excellent. So with that motor running a two to one gear ratio through this with that size tire, this thing tops out at about 25 kilometers per hour. And that scooter was made to run at about 50 kilometers per hour, so we've doubled our torque. Uh, hoodie built, uh, there's a charge port there, Let's see. stick a charger in there, XLR port, and kind of industrial key switch thing there, and then made our own, there's 18650 cells in here that we got in bulk packs, and there's a BMS in there, 14 cells in series, the four in parallel. 14S 4P pack, so it'll uh, that thing rips. That's uh, we opened up the controller and found 60 volt capacitors in it, so 14S is as much as we can run without getting into trouble. I think uh, use use old the sheet metal is just old computer boxes from old junky computers from the 90s and stuff. That's good metal, it's all galvanized, so we just fold it up and put our batteries in there in case they light on fire, which I have been involved in something like that before. It's very exciting when they're on fire. The uh, cup holder, that's half, you cut the bottom off half, that's, uh, that's a cylinder sleeve from a 671, uh, 671, what do you call them, Screaming Jimmy, one of them big old diesels, so it's actually the... I rebuilt the engine in that bus, so that's the sleeves out of the engine when I took the parts out. It's got all new ones. So that's where one of them went. Excellent cup holder. Very sturdy. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that thing. So at first I hated that thing. I've grown to like it. It's kind of funny. That was the right solution. Gas motor went on on the internet marketplace there, and within an hour someone came and took it away. So it was pretty easy to unload the gas parts, sold them. What does he got? I don't think he's got a thousand bucks into it. Three hundred bucks for the scooter parts, uh, battery pack, BMS, charger. Here's here's a charger. Got a pretty big, big one. Yeah, that's uh, what does it do? Charges at 58.8 volts and it'll do six amps. So this is a. 12 amp hour battery so from rate dead to rate full that'll do it in basically two hours so gives you a lot of fun two hours we drove it all the way up town to the factory and back and it did that no problem so let's see if I'm brave enough to drive it a bit here see if I can squeeze it out between there it'll maybe fit we measured with a tape measure and it won't fit through there so I'm going that way John Got to turn the switch on and get the regenerative braking working. And, uh, yeah. There's this other weird little switch. Had a three position switch, so there's a low and a high power setting. I'm not sure which way that is. Uh, we'll know right away if that's low or high. Horn. Yeah. Okay. Try to do it one handed here. Creep out of here. Steer. Okay. Ooh.
Okay. It's got a lot of power. It'll climb right up. Oh, I don't know if that's high power. Oh, that was low power. Jesus, there's high power. Okay. Let's go down there again. This is pretty. Oh, there's some marks. Don Mo trenched my driveway with his Nissan Leaf. Now I have to fill in that, I guess. Oh, that's that's way more power now. Okay. Holy cow! All right. I'm not really good at driving this. Oh, the brakes work good. Oh, pretty scary. Just wheelies. <laughs> Ah, let's get back through here. I'm kind of jealous, so I've been looking at this wheelbarrow, and uh, I kind of have a plan. I might build something similar out of a wheelbarrow. So I hated this to begin with. And now it's kind of a bug. That's how these things work, eh? Silly toys. That's that's why the kids build them. Fun little wagon. Watch out for it at a campground near you. Maybe uh, maybe after we'll charge it back up so it's it's got full excitement level and and uh, we'll give you a view. Yeah, this one right here. I can. I don't know what you foresee in this, but I know what I see. That old wheelbarrow. Well, I'll tell you later. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.